Good day. Today we'll be showing you our 2500 HD bender. This machine can bend inch and a quarter, inch and a half, schedule 40 pipe. This is a good entry level machine for bending handrail, uh, as well as many other profiles. Uh, this machine has uh, a rack and pinion drive system and an air over hydraulic powered ram. Uh, it comes with several die sets. We are offering it with an inch and a half die set as well as an inch and a quarter, schedule 40, and a one by one square tube die set. This is a former demonstration machine that we're offering at a discount. It probably has about two hours on it. Um, again, we mentioned this is the HD 2500. This is the heavy duty unit with a three inch rack. And this is uh, manufactured by Mittler Brothers. Okay, so we've got our spring back set here. We're gonna go ahead and bend a piece of inch and a half schedule 40 pipe. Uh, this material is the strongest material this machine can bend, so it does bend a little bit slower than it does with other materials, uh, but it will get the job done. We're gonna go ahead and just shoot for a 90 degree bend. I'm just gonna use my magnetic tape here to figure out where I'm going. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get that started. Basically, you get your counter bend die in there, set where you want, cinch down your counter bend die, and away you go. Air over hydraulic, having a nice compressor, giving it a good steady 100 pounds will make a significant difference. our 45 degree bend. One of the nice features of this bender is you can operate it in a manual mode. So if I had a template, for example, I could hold my template up right now, bump my machine a little bit. Um, sometimes we get a lot of requests for manual bending machines uh, when a lot of the ones out there in the market are programmable. So right now I've reached my 90 degrees. I'm fairly happy with that for just a, a quick demonstration. I can go ahead and hit my return switch, release my lever. And of course, so we get a a pretty good bend here uh, for a rotary draw bend. It's not a mandrel bender. We're gonna have less than 10% crush here on the inside wall. The outside is gonna be nice and clean. So this is a standard handrail bend. Um, this machine may not bend lightning fast, but you can imagine how long it would take to cut, weld, and then grind to finish this 90 degree bend. So uh, about a minute bend time on that 90 degree. Um, cutting, welding, grinding, it's gonna be far longer than a minute. This machine comes with a magnetic tape setup. This makes it very uh, advantageous for doing onesies and twosies, um, bends, you know, non-production runs. Essentially, you can start the machine, zero that magnetic tape out to set your spring back, and then off you go. This machine is giving you a degree of bend uh, a readout for every every degree it bends. Um, so this is very uh, helpful for doing onesies and twosies, for doing simple one-off parts. So I've gone ahead and made a quick tooling, tooling change here to the inch and a quarter schedule 40 die. Uh, I've got my bending professional tools here, torpedo level, grease, and hammer. Uh, come in handy with any bending uh, piece of equipment. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out my bend. I'm doing a, a mock-up handrail piece. This is about 120 degree. So I'm gonna shoot for a 60 degree bend over, over here. Looks like I'm gonna have to set my spring back again as well. Right about there is my spring back. So I'm gonna go ahead and zero that out. And now we're ready to go.
Okay, just did an eyeball. Looks like I've hit my angle. This must not have been a, a 120. Use my tooling. Bingo, bango. This machine runs off uh, air over hydraulics. This is a standalone little hydraulic unit. It comes with the machine. It's built into the price. All we need is uh, 100 pounds of shop air. There's no voltage requirements. It's one of the sweetest parts about this machine. You can have 110, have this in your garage. As long as you have a compressor, you can run this machine. Basically, uh, you put your 100 pounds to the uh, hydraulic unit, step on the pedal, pumps up that, that air of a hydraulic system and away she goes, and then you have a return lever. Bring your bend back. So I've set up our last set of tooling here. This is a one by one square tube tooling. Um, you know, this machine has many purposes. Uh, we can do inch and a quarter hand rail. We can do some one by one square tubing or maybe even two by two for uh, cattle gates or horse gates or things of that nature. And of course, Mittler Brothers is known for race cars, so we can do some uh, a tubing as well. Uh, I believe the Bigfoot monster trucks are built with uh, this machine or were at one point in time. So I'm going to go ahead and bend this uh, tool and I'm also going to bend it to 179 degrees. If you go to 180 degrees, you'll be in trouble. Die. Usually a good whack. No. Okay, so we stopped shy of 180. Anyone who's done bending before knows you have to do that. You can get it to 179 if you like, but if you go to 181, you're in trouble. So there's a nice little U-band, one by one square tube. A uh, little bit of deformation on the, on the inside there. This is not a manual bender. This is typical. Um, so for your gates, uh, your farming needs. This is, uh, like I said, stop system here. This is an air powered stop system. Basically, it's going to trip the machine to stop. So we can use the magnetic tape or we can also set up a stop system for production runs. We have three stops we can set so we can use our common bend sizes, bend angles, say a, a 60 degree stop, a 90 degree stop, and a 120. They're very easy to move around and dial in. Uh, you've got a fine adjuster here and basically the, as the machine traverses across the rack, the stop system will trigger the switch and shut the machine down when it reaches the desired angle. Okay. This machine comes with a, a standard tooling setup here for your shims. You can set your shims aside. You've also got a place to hang your saddles. You know, each shoe, depending on the range of the ID, might take a different saddle. So there's three different saddles that come with the machine. Um, storage tray for your tooling. Uh, it comes with a set of casters. And these are locking casters here. Okay. Uh, very easy to move around the shop. Especially for the race car guys, fab guys sometimes run out of room as well. Uh, strictly uh, air over hydraulics, so all it's needed is 100 pounds of uh, compressed air to run this machine. Um, tooling change out is very easy. And our counter bend die. Oh, and we have a removable counter bend die table as well. Save you on some room. Okay. 
and you're ready to bend. Sometimes you might have to make a small shim adjustment uh, depending on the material. So your shim storage is here. Okay, you always want a pretty tight fit once you get the material in there. So it's a complete machine with tooling.